There was a time not too long ago when it was believed that space would be forever unknown to us. We hadn't yet set satellites and other things into space, and as a result of that, we wondered just what was out there waiting for us should we ever make it. But now, thanks to various tools and probes, like the two Voyager probes roaming interstellar space right now, we have more clues as to what space really is in all its glory. But not unlike other technologies, it needs to be replaced, and two countries are on it. Allow us to show you how China and NASA are developing next-gen Voyager-like spacecraft. The Voyagers For those who don't know, Voyager 1 is a probe that humanity sent out to observe the universe at large all the way back in 1977 and it's currently well past Pluto and has shown us many things about our solar system. In 2017, it was set at around 138 AUs from our planet. AU means astronomical unit, which in this case means the distance from the Earth to the Sun. So 138 AUs means that it's 138 times further than the Earth is from the Sun right now. That's a really big number, over 12 billion miles to be exact, that's the furthest anything from man has traveled in space, and it's obviously traveled further since 2017. One of its crowning achievements was a photograph showing a set of sunbeams, and in one of those sunbeams was Earth. It was a dot, a dot in a grander scale photograph of our solar system. That's how small we are in the scale of our system when you look from the outside in. We are a dot. But if you didn't know, that wasn't the only probe we sent out into space. Voyager 2 was launched before Voyager 1 by 16 days, and it was set on a similar mission to explore the solar system, albeit via a different route that took it past Neptune and Uranus. The point here is that these two probes are the furthest things that humanity has sent into the solar system and into space as a whole. They have traveled incredible distances and are still revealing things about our solar system that continue to both boggle the minds and astound us. But as we noted in our intro, they need to be replaced. They've been out in space for literal decades and their systems are slowly coming apart, meaning that someone needs to step up and make the next Voyager probes, and both China and the US are trying to make that a reality. The new space race. There's no use denying it, Space Race 2.0 is heating up. But while the focus remains on public-private partnerships in low Earth orbit, space junk and finally human settlements on the Moon and Mars, a remnant of that original space race spirit is beginning to awaken the push to explore the outer edges of our solar system and beyond. Last year, China announced it was developing a pair of spacecraft capable of exploring the very edge of our solar system. According to an official industry newspaper called China Space News Friday, the mission Interstellar Express promised the potential to enter interstellar space by the middle of the century. Of course, NASA already did it with the Voyagers as we described before, but NASA might not be done with deep space missions yet. In December 2021, the American Geophysical Union AGU, met in New Orleans and revealed its nearly 500-page mission concept report that proposes the development of interstellar probe. Ideally, nothing should prevent both missions from happening with total success. But pending approval and complete development, there will be no denying the ultimate dilemma. Which one will do it better, China or NASA? NASA's new mission. Interstellar Probe will allow us to understand where we come from and where we are going," said Johns Hopkins University Pontus Brandt, who works in College's Applied Physics Laboratory (APL), according to a report from Scientific American. It is a mission to go beyond the boundaries of the heliosphere, the vast magnetic bubble that encases the entire solar system. By sending a probe to examine the nature of interstellar space beyond the Sun's heliosphere, Interstellar Probe could reveal what lies ahead for the entire solar system, as the Sun and its planets glide into the uncharted territory of our Milky Way. In the last 60,000 years, our Sun has glided through what's called the Local Interstellar Cloud (LIC). This is a colossal region of dust and gas surrounded by an empty sphere of space that supernovae etched out of the Milky Way millions of years ago. But in roughly 2,000 years, our solar system will depart this volume of interstellar space and enter a new region. We have no clue what's going to take place, said Brandt in the Scientific American report. But the Earth could be subjected to a radically different environment, where more cosmic rays that reshape planetary climates and burn through DNA might abound. As for the Sun's heliosphere, that might change too, potentially swelling or shrinking to unprecedented levels. We just don't know added Brandt. Time frame. 
Suppose the interstellar probe, a concept representing the work of more than 1,000 scientists, is ultimately selected by NASA for further development and eventual launch. In that case, it could exceed the scientific accomplishments of the legendary Voyager probes. Neither Voyager 1 nor Voyager 2 were designed to fully explore interstellar space, roughly 120 astronomical units away. And the Voyagers accidentally got there, said APL's McNutt in the report, who's Interstellar Probe's principal investigator. They just barely scratched the surface. The flight plan for the new mission would begin with a launch in 2036. The Interstellar Probe would weigh roughly 1,900 pounds and move at 37,282 miles per hour. That speed would easily top the previous speed record for NASA of 26,719 miles per hour set by the New Horizons spacecraft. It successfully launched. The Interstellar Probe would enter Jupiter's space in seven months and reach the Sun's heliopause in 15 years, a feat that took Voyager 1 an astounding 35 years. They also have a plan for them reaching a certain point in 150 years. But let's not get that far ahead, shall we? After all, we still need to talk China. China's mission. China's Interstellar Express aims to send two spacecraft to the edge of our solar system, the front and the rear of the sun's heliosphere. This could reveal how space dominated by the sun's solar wind behaves in unprecedented detail. And according to the 2021 report from China, it aims to travel 100 AUs away from the Earth by 2049. This would coincide with the schedule of the interstellar probe and put NASA's and China's probes in the heliosphere at the same time. However, we've yet to see an official launch date for China's Interstellar Express. Still, an overview of the mission presented during the European Planetary Science Congress in 2019 suggested China might launch in 2024 enabling a flyby of Jupiter in 2029. The second probe would do the same in 2033 before visiting Neptune's planetary system in 2028. China's Interstellar Express would also repeat our outer solar system's grand tour, not attempted since the Voyager probes in the 1980s. But unlike NASA's potential interstellar probe, China's extrasolar adventure would involve a 110 pound spacecraft powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators. RTGs launched the top Long March 3B or Long March 5 rockets. It seems the interstellar probe proposal would travel farther, faster, and discover more scientific data. It would explore our sun and its heliosphere and scout deep space. Cosmic horizons of knowledge at the end of a solar day, it's a bit silly to need NASA's spacecraft to be better or worse than China's, at least when it comes to purely scientific missions. Exploration. No matter which is better, the goal is the same, exploration and data collection. This is even more important now that there are multiple plans to try and get humanity to Mars and potentially some of the moons of other planets in order to establish a more widespread presence across our own solar system. And when that ends, our thoughts will go beyond our solar system. But we can't reasonably go and make that push until we know more about what's out there. Because one wrong move in space ensures your death. So we need more data, and hopefully both of these probes will not just be approved and made, but then fulfill their destinies and get us what we need to expand and explore. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the Voyager crafts and the missions by the US and China to try and replace them with something even better? Do you think that either country will be able to do just that? What improvements do you think they need to have in order to make it work and detect the wonders of space? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time on the channel.